Brooklyn, New York. Brian Camp, Greenville, South Carolina. With crowds of people coming into town this weekend, it wasn't easy getting through the streets of Tempe, even on foot. But chances are, if you were using two wheels or even three, instead of the usual four, you had no trouble at all. It was clear that this day was not for those getting around by car, as drivers were blocked at nearly every turn. I envy Austin Phoenix for having such a wonderful light rail. I wish Austin would have one as well. We do have one, but not compare anything to the one in Phoenix. The most popular solution by far was the city's light rail. Some pedicab companies had a tough time reeling in customers initially. It could be something superb, but as you can see, I'm not going anywhere. So just because you see a lot of people doesn't mean you're going to get a lot of business. Once they were at the event, some still chose to use their feet, but others opted to let pedicabs do the work. Light rail service makes things easier, more convenient, and cheaper for visiting triathletes and their families. We came in yesterday. My husband came in Thursday. So he's used the light rail every day. <laughs> It's become an invaluable resource since opening in 2008, taking passengers anywhere from Tempe to downtown Phoenix to the airport. With over 25 stops on the light rail line, even locals are saying that this is the best option to get around during big events like this one. Parking's always kind of an issue. For a lot of people, it's just so much easier to say, you know, just drive to somewhere along the, the, the light rail, one of the park stations, take the light rail down. Many people took advantage of that approach during the Ironman, and there are no signs of ridership slowing down. For MCO 502, I'm Chris Carr.